Hello guys and welcome back to the Big Sam Challenge with me, John, okay, Old Man Suda. Obviously, after the last game, we are still bottom, but as you can see, with other results going their way, we are only one point now behind Fulham and uh, four points behind Birmingham and only nine points, eight points behind Birmingham. So, you know, one win and it's starting to look a lot better Um Still a long way to go, though. We've got some really tough games. We're not going to win every single game, uh, including today. Man City in 13th. Not the Man City, obviously, of today, but this is the Man City before all their money and everything like that. Um, they look good, though. They've just brought Melberg from uh, Aston Villa from the looks of it. Obviously, fantastic um, defender. One of the best sort of defenders I think Villa ever had. Uh, and probably at the time, I think he was one of the best defenders in sort of the uh, Premiership, if you ask me. Uh, they've got Robbie Fowler, a 28-year-old. Trevor Sinclair's there. Richard Dunn, 24-year-old Richard Dunn is there. Uh, Claudio Reyna is there. Um, any other ones? Like we can see. Like really sort of... Nicholas and... Oh, they've got Nicholas and Nelka up front. Oh, man, that's, that's difficult. Have they brought anyone this season? Let's have a quick little look and see. They brought quite a few people in. So they brought... Uh, Bestuka from Leverkusen, uh, Wamberto from Ajax, um, Sasnake and Nakamura, um, I'm not sure who he is, Melberg, they brought quite a lot of people actually, they spent £67 million, pounds, so they have got money, um, yeah, this is going to be really, really difficult, they only spent 2.5, I mean Steve McManaman, they sold to him, God, you wouldn't, I can't even remember him, that he used to play, I always forget that he used to play, to be honest, uh, Sean Wright Phillips went off to Fulham on loan as well, uh, yeah, I mean, they, they must have, they've obviously got money, because I think of the FM19, sort of says they've got money and that sort of stuff, but obviously back in the day, they didn't have the money that they used to have, um, and everything like that, but yeah, this is going to be obviously a very, very, very difficult uh, game I think against a very good side so we'll see how we get on we had a couple of transfers we brought one or two players not many um, and I I didn't want to buy people I had to buy people that I felt could help us in the league straight away not sort of I couldn't go out and get like an 18 year old Messi or anything like that because really the truth is we need players now we need players that could help us with the league so we got for Senderos, uh, Senderos, central defender Arsenal he's only 18 years old but he's a really good player um, and yeah, we got him. So he'll help cover on the right. He can help cover us sort of centrally. So I think uh, it was a good bit of a loan deal for us. We also got Neil Clement. Uh, people might remember him or not. Decent sort of left winger or left defender. Sorry, can play wing back as well. Uh, yeah, should help us again. We need a little bit more out on that left hand side. I felt. And then we've got Georgios uh, Kargunis. I think uh, brought him from Inter. Um, yeah, I think he would just help us out in the middle. He's, he looks like a decent player out in the middle. Can really sort of play a bit versatile as well, help cover in a couple of other positions. And I thought for the price that we were going to pay for him, which I think was like 2.5, 2.2, I thought he was a really good buy. So really happy with what we got. I feel it just helps, you know, with the with sort of just strengthening the squad a little bit as well, I want to say. I mean, we are unfortunate. We did sell one or two players, but no one of real note. Uh, Barnby went away. Core went uh, uh, to Cambridge. Uh, Wilcox went to Millwall for 51k. Fraser Richardson went on went to Norwich on loan. Apart from that, though, I think that was it. David Batty was before my time. Same as McMaster's. Uh, I mean, Dominic Matteo and uh, Ian. I would love to have kept Ian Hart, actually. He's out on loan, unfortunately, but he's the perfect left back that we could have done. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get a chance to keep him. He's joining West Ham. It's an agreed transfer. Um, yeah, so we ain't going to keep him, unfortunately, but it would have been lovely to keep him. He would have been the left back we needed, especially. But overall, not doing too bad. Um, right, let's get into the game. Like I said, it's Man City. It's going to be a difficult game. Another win here, though, would obviously do us fantastic. There's some big games. Charlton playing Newcastle who we're looking to boo. Birmingham and Middlesbrough is obviously a big one as well. So there's some big games coming up and uh, we'll see how we get on. So this is the team we're going to go with. It's uh, going to be Senderos or Robinson in goal. Senderos, Junior, uh, Gamara uh, and Clement as the back four. Milner, Bake, uh, Cargunas, uh, I might say, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Johnson, uh, Guerrero and Smith. We're going for the sort of 4-4-1-1. We can also turn it into a 4-4-2-2 if we need to. Try and keep it secret, secret, uh, simple. 
and just see how we get on basically overall so let's uh, get into it and see how we get on it's going to be difficult we've got a couple of auto numbers we can do so we'll submit them and uh yeah i mean if we can get a win here it would be massive because i think it takes off the bottom spot um but i just feel like this could be a big big ask i think it's going to be one of those ones really that um might be too much looking at the players that they've brought they're they're not doing as well as they should be uh, come on, Ad, show me what you can do. It's not really done anything. We'll give him a passionate talk as well. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm expecting this to be a very difficult, difficult um, game. I'm not expecting, to, I don't expect to win a lot of these games, to be honest. My players can adapt to any situation, a little bit of weather. He's truly fantastic. Anything would miss a player of his caliber. Um, he's just being rested, we'll say that. And we'll get into the game. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can't wait for Duca to be back as well, because um, obviously he's on international duty at the moment. They've picked up an injury, it looks like. We've got a chance, Clement, we've almost... Smith, get in there! Smith with the goal, six of the season, and he was the quickest one to react on the rebound, and that was a good goal. Clement, though, a really good free kick by Clement. Just, I mean, it looked like it smacked a goalie in the face, if I'm honest. It looked like it just... Yeah, he looked like he saved it with his face. But... We'll take it. It's a result. Uh, we've got another chance maybe here as we get the ball. Guerrero now with it gives it to Bake. What's Bake going to do now? Gets it to Guerrero. Guerrero's got a bit of room. Takes a shot. Oh, my God. How did that go in? Guerrero with the goal. 2-0 to us. And things are going absolutely brilliant. Julian Guerrero. Really nice little goal, actually. I mean, I saw, sort of slipped in. It didn't... I don't really know how that sort of thing gets said because it didn't seem to be travelling too fast. Grow with a good shot. I mean, the goalie should have done a little bit better. Maybe the wet weather made the ball skid a little bit. And we are 10 minutes in. We are 2-0 up and things couldn't be going much better even if we had asked it to. Um, yeah, that's absolutely fantastic result for us. I mean, it helps with the goal difference. It's helping, obviously, points-wise as well. Uh, right, we'll tell you to ease off a little bit. We don't want you to get sent off or anything like that. 30 minutes in though and things are looking really good Smith has picked up a knock oh no uh, right we're not going to risk anything so Smith can come off we'll bring Sacco on for him I feel that will do decently enough for us you can go as an advance forward uh, apart from that we'll leave it as it is obviously um, but yeah things are going fantastic this couldn't have gone better for us I mean you know we are doing really well but it's Man City now with a chance they do come forward uh, they get a bit of a chance here crossing to Anelka Anelka should have put that away he had a free header uh, and we we're let off a little bit but overall we can't really complain we are doing fantastic we are playing obviously a sort of counter-attacking side so they are always going to have more shots than us um, but we're making the shots count which is the main thing um, a bit worrying that they've had 12 or 7 on target out of the 12. Team talk, what we can only say apart from very pleased to keep it going, lads. Uh, hang. Why did you look to switch off? I said well done and you switched off. Okay, 45 minutes gone though. And we've got to be a bit careful. We don't want to let Man City get back into this if we can help it. As they come down line, Milner with a good tackle. You can always count on Milner, even at a young age like he was here, 18, 19 years old. And... Melberg now with the ball. I mean, it's Man City with the highlights again. It's uh, Sinclair now coming forward. Gets it out wide. They are maybe going to get across it. And Nelka with the ball gets across him. We do clear it just about, but Sinclair can get it again. And they do find it. Wamberto with the goal. Second goal of the season for him. I mean, they just overloaded us a little bit with players and managed to get the rebounds, didn't they? I mean, Anelka did well here. Gets a crossing. We do clear it, but not well enough. And Sinclair headers it back in. I mean, it hit, so, oh, it hit someone. It was a bit of a match engine there, weren't it? It just sort of one player walking away. The ball hits him on the back of the legs like he's not really caring anymore or anything like that. 53 minutes gone, though. What can we say? We're going to ask him. Oh, no. Sacco's been injured now as well. Mm, this is not good. We haven't got anyone who can play striker. We haven't got anyone who can play striker. We're going to have to sort of go a bit like this, I feel. Um, not that we've got anyone who can play really DM either. So we could obviously put you there and have Jody Morris come in. I mean, that's our striker, though. That's such an annoying box-to-box uh, -box support. guess that's what we can do. It's, it's Actually, no. Right. I've decided we're going to do something different. We're going to go five at the back. Um, and we'll have Damien Johnson come on for you. Damien Johnson can go on the right. I 
think this will work. I, I think, I hope. It's about the best we can do. Confirm changes. No striker now. I mean, Smith got injured. Now they've injured the other striker. 60 minutes left to go. And really, we are sort of going to be just trying to hold on. Birmingham are losing now, which is great for us. Puts us only one point behind them as things stand. 74 minutes, 75 minutes. Pause that. We're going to tactics. We're going to try and do some um, time wasting. Where is it? It's, it's there, isn't it? Time wasting as much as possible we want. I'm going to do some time wasting. We're going to hit early crosses. And I think we'll pass it. No, we won't pass into space. We'll hit early crosses. Play for set pieces. That will do, I think, there. Uh, we're not going to counter press. We haven't got the players really to distribute to full backs and centre backs. So just, I'm just changing things around a little bit, trying to help us. Obviously, uh, we'll move you to there. Uh, no, actually, we'll come back here a little bit. We're going to go lower. I think, yeah, we'll stay that. Um, and we'll leave it at that. And let's just see. Can we sort of just see out the last 15, 14, 15 minutes, really? That is the thing. Uh, I confirm the changes there. Time wasting a little bit. We're just trying to hold on to get the three points. Robinson gets it out to Gamera. Gamera now to Sendros. Sendros to Robinson. Robinson clears it up to Milner. Milner's got a, a bit of a room here. He can come forward. We might be able to make something happen here. Milner with a shot and it's not really going anywhere. But it wastes a bit of time. That's the main thing. Five minutes left to go. And at the moment, we're doing well. I mean, we they're, Man City should be drawing with us, to be honest. But time's ticking away. The time wasting has seemed to work. At the moment, 93 minutes gone, though. Uh... And maybe they could have something. They've got 50 seconds left. They put a long ball in. Gamera gets it. What can he do? Can he time waste a bit here? Sendros now. Bake. To junior. Junior to Guerrero. We've got some room here. Milner tries to get out wide, but he can't. Milner's going to collect this though. And we might even be able to waste another 30 seconds. Uh, it looked like a tackle. And was it a free kick to us? No, it wasn't. Melberg now with the ball. They've really got 10 seconds left. There's not much time for them to do anything. They've got to try something quickly. And... Surely, come on, time's just coming down. We clear the ball once. Guerrero's got it now. Can he get out to Milner? He does. Milner, we just play it around, pass it around. There we go. We win the game 2 1. Get in there. That is what we wanted. Great result for us. Absolutely fantastic. Well done, lads. That was a good win for us. Two wins on the trot. And that just does absolutely great for us. Couldn't have asked for much more than that. Um, wow. I mean, this is going better than I thought. Right. How long have people been injured for? Two to four weeks, not good for us at all. Injured after sprinting. Uh, Alan Smith out for only a day or two, which is not too bad. A couple of players have made their debut. We're going to praise you. You were superb in front of goal. I appreciate it. I mean, that was a fantastic goal that he scored for us. Competition-wise, where does that put us in the league? It does move us up to 19th. We are only one point behind Birmingham now, which is absolutely brilliant for us. Uh, but we are still... Eight points behind Charlton. Did Charlton win in the end? Charlton beat Newcastle, which you Charlton beat Newcastle. I mean, Newcastle are in sixth spot. You would have thought maybe not. I mean, Wolves now 24th, so they must have either lost or they've got a game still to play. Um, but yeah, it seems to be looking a lot better for us. Eight points still. We've only got 13 games left. It's going to be a difficult ask still, whatever happens, but we are moving in the right direction. Uh, three wins now as well, which is absolutely fantastic. Or two wins. But free for us on a bounce, if I remember rightly. Look at that. Lovely. After that poor, poor form, this is absolutely fantastic. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Remember to like. Remember to subscribe. Remember that my new series has started as well. So go over and watch that one, The Manager's Journey. Hopefully, you guys will really enjoy it as well. Um, I will see you on the next episode or next whatever you're going to go watch of mine. Anyway, thank you again. It's been a pleasure as always. I will see you soon. Bye for now.